What is going on to everybody in Simcoe? My name is Mike Massey. Welcome to another tip of the week. This tip of the week, we're looking at a little check-in that you can do to help manage your stress or your anger or your frustration or all of life stuff. Instead of it letting it stack up over time, learning how to address it in the moment. And this is what I call a PEM, a physical, emotional, and a mental check-in. It's my way of dividing and conquering my stress. What do I mean by this? Well, you can use it informally throughout your day. As you're getting ready for work, ask yourself, how am I doing physically? How am I doing emotionally? How am I doing mentally? Use it in that way. So maybe you're getting ready for work and you ask yourself, how am I doing physically? And you feel, well, I feel neutral or okay. Great, move on. Emotionally, what are you noticing? Well, maybe there's a little anxiety. Maybe you're noticing a little frustration or maybe you're excited about the day. Again, note it and move on to the M, mentally in the form of thoughts, images, or hearing your own thoughts, right, auditory, ask yourself what's present. And it might be, well, anticipating what might happen at my two o'clock, or anticipating that meeting that's coming up, or rehearsing what happened yesterday, or replaying over what could happen or might happen. Ask yourself to break it down into these three easy steps. Physical, emotional, mental, how am I doing for each one? What you'll find, let's say you wake up in the morning, physical, all good. Emotion, sadness. You go in your mind, why am I so sad? Well, I don't know, maybe it's because of this, or maybe it's because of that. And we start adding, we start adding from our thoughts into our emotion, which allows that emotion to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And grow. Even in the middle of experiencing sadness, you can do the PEM. Physically, what I'm experiencing about the sadness, well, maybe some noticing a tightness or a heaviness in my body. Emotionally, what's present? Sadness. Mentally, what's experiencing? Well, my mind's trying to figure out why. Out of the PEM, out of the three of those in that instance for me, the E is the strongest. So I go to the sadness and I allow the sadness to be there. How? Breathe in, noticing the sadness. Breathe out, acknowledging the sadness. Go to my site, mindfulmike.ca, and check out a short meditation called Noting Emotions if you, want to, if you want to expand on that. But by learning to centralize and to, and to single out one thing out of the PEM, one experience, what is the strongest, and work with that. It is one way of applying this practice formally as well to your stress or to your sadness or to your anxiety. But it's not a bad habit to get into, to ask yourself, how am I doing physically? How am I doing emotionally? And how am I doing mentally? To ask yourself that throughout the day is not a bad thing for your mental health and well-being. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You know how to get a hold of me, mindfulmike.ca or DM me at mindfulmassey, M-A-S-S-E. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.